I'm Natisha Lee with That Great Juice, and I'm delighted to be here with the fabulous Yola starring in the massive new Warner Brothers release, Elvis. Hey, Yola. Hey, thanks for having me. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you so much. Like, so, thank my stylist, thank my glam team. <laughs> girl, they're bringing it, and you're bringing it. So this movie is huge. Can you tell us a bit about Elvis and your character, the godmother of rock and roll, Sister Rosetta Tharp? Well, so I'm playing Sister Rosetta Tharp, who, let's just not beat around the bush, invented rock and roll. And in the process of inventing rock and roll, um, Elvis is runs home from school to listen to her on the radio she's a big enough deal he grows up in he's like the only like white guy in a black part of town like and so you we all know about segregation and redlining and all that kind of business and so he's growing up in this environment where people are going to black church, they're listening to black music. He's being raised on all of this stuff. And his motivation is raised on Detra is Sister Rosetta Tharp. She um, was the first person to distort the guitar and the first person to bend the string in solos. So all that distortion and shredding that you attribute to the rock and roll aesthetic was her invention. So without that, we don't have anything. So we owe her everything. And of course, Elvis owes her everything. And that's where we pick up, you know, his origin story. Mm, she's She's got an incredible journey. And, you know, what were your thoughts when the script came to you? Because she's just got such an important part of history. I was such a massive fan growing up of Sister Rosetta Tharp. And so... I was ready for her to be involved in the storytelling of some of the biggest white icons of rock and roll, you know, because because of segregation, they got all of this fire. And like we it, we tell that in the movie, we tell that story of the difference in this. Um, Kelvin Harrison Jr. has a really great line. I won't do any spoilers to get into, but like he's really breaking, he breaks it down you know and so it's just it's such a privilege to be able to bring her to the world in a way that is grossly overdue mm. yeah and Elvis is movie magic I really think it's going to be one of those movies that people talk about for years it's electric yes. from the trailer alone yes. it must have been really fun to make this do you have any favorite scenes from the movie Oh my gosh. Well, I'm, I'm, my favorite scenes are always going to be the one I'm in, obviously. Because <laughs> I, like, I get to sit down, me and Alton Mason, who's playing Little Richard, totally smashes that role. Um, Kelvin Harrison Jr., who's playing B.B. King, totally smashes that role. And Austin Butler, who we've been watching, totally smashed that role the whole gosh darn time. And we're just sitting around and like jamming together. The, the shooting of that was really vibey. And it was actually Baz just feeling inspired by uh, us hanging and talking and goes, I like this look, I like this vibe. Kick your shoes off, loosen your tie, little Richard. Let's get the after show energies going, that behind the curtain. It was, it was a vibe to shoot and like, we just all felt it. Yeah, and we can feel it when we watch it, honestly. Yes. And so for anyone that recognizes your face and your voice, but can't place you, you've been killing it, Grammy nominated, country Six soul times. singer, hey. <laughs> So what are some of your career highlights so far? Oh my gosh, yeah. Like I think um, that first time when I heard that I was nominated for Best New Artist at the Grammys, which is general field, all the categories, all musicians across everywhere that exists. And, and I'm up against Billie Eilish, Lil Nas X, Lizzo, <laughs> Rosalia, <laughs> uh, Maggie Rogers, Tank and the Bangers, freaking good, like you name it. Like I'm up against them and <laughs> like, you know, it was, and Black Pumas, goodness gracious. And like, yeah, it was like, I just like, people had been debuting, but I was as, I was probably the earliest debut because it's like breakout for best new artist. But mm -hmm. I literally just released my record um, within the kind of eligible period. So I was like, this is a real get 
This is a real get. I'm in some rarefied air. I was in like the third row at the Grammys next to Billy. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, this is like really arriving. And so, and then making stand for myself and having this, like earning this great sense of control and bringing more women into the ridership, more women of color into the ridership and just being artistic director for this. And yeah, you know, there's so many things that came off the back of that, being able to open for Chris Tableton, playing Coachella. I've got them coming up headlining Glastonbury left field stage um, on Sunday 25th. And so there's loads of things that like this record stand for myself has given birth to and it seems to run really concurrently with sister rosetta tharp because the record's about like standing in your authenticity and as a queer black woman that's what she did i'm a black woman i can't speak to the queerness but i can speak to the era she was herself in and i can't imagine that was easy uh, yola we love everything that you've achieved all of the work that you're yes. doing and just, let's just celebrate all of your wins. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> all the flowers. Keep them coming. All of the flowers. Yola, it's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you. Thank you so much. We Thank wish you, you all so the much. best on your journey. Thank you.